Dolezia, not the Robert Dolezia that you've seen, but his younger brother is actually the holder of the world snatch record uh, and the world total record, both at senior and junior level. But the clean and jerk world record of 242.5, the standard, has not yet been achieved. So, I don't know, maybe we'll see someone get closish to that today. That's uh, Matty Steiner of Austria, just in picture there. So, Pizarevsky, bar going up to 182 and a half kilos for this 27-year-old, ranked eighth in the world, coming into these championships. And this is um, a steady start. Oh, well, now what's happening? Timed well, out. We've seen this happening quite a lot this week, haven't we? Athletes uh, being timed out. Of course, you have a minute from when you're you're called to the platform, and you're called immediately. Uh, yeah, yeah, on the bar, when the bar, when the bar's lo as soon as the bar's loaded, you're called, and from that point, you have one minute. And uh, lots of athletes seem to be timed out. Well, you know, I think it's because Steiner again put the weight up. What was Steiner going to go for? Was he going to go for? No, he had 182. He did. posted, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the warm-up room is not that far away, so really that sort of mistake shouldn't happen. So, not a good start for the Russian. Interesting youngster. Father has been. Uh, competing in the Masters weightlifting and has won 18 world titles over the last 18 years. So very much a family affair. Yeah, he's bit, the other interesting fact for this lad is that he has to do his sport whilst also dealing with diabetes. He was diagnosed in 2000. So shades of Sir Steve Redgrave, you know, had to six injections a day. But... Uh, Good lift, and uh, he does have this uh, distinction, this young man. He's only 21, of uh, being the first Austrian lifter uh, to actually uh, total 400 kilos. But as you said, you know, all, you know, all the inspiration from his dad, Fred, or Friedrich, as I should correctly call him. And he's been, uh, he's been really busy this year. He's had uh, a lot of competitions in the Austrian Bundesliga, as we see uh, Pizarevsky out to try and make amends for that lost opportunity. And uh, when he came out the first time, David Pizarevsky, I was going to make the point that I thought this was a fairly modest start. I mean, he snatched 185 and 192, and he's aspiring for a total of 420. So he might have to take uh, a few more kilos on the third attempt. Assuming he gets this, which he has, so that's good. So annoying to get timed out. Well, what a, you know, it's one thing to fail a lift, but to lose the opportunity through you know a kerfuffle and a mix-up is is really silly. He's been around, as I said, he's 27, so he's been competing in the World Championships for a while won the World Student Championships back in 2000. And now uh, Alan Chagev, uh, I, I think one of my favorite lifters, this guy who was actually unusually, David, he was a Russian and then went to Bulgaria. It's usually Bulgarians who get exported or purchased or transferred uh, to other countries uh, like uh, Qatar. And we've got one of those in the uh, lineup, Assad Saad Saif or uh, Angel Popov, as uh, he was known when he was lifting for Bulgaria, but yet to see him start. But this is the 26-year-old Bulgarian who's been pretty close to success. World silver medalist last season and world European silver medalist this season. Well, I was just about to say that was a good start, but uh, lost it right at the last moment. So did all the work. Yes, known for his strength in the clean and jerk. Very, very strong in the uh, in the second, second phase. part of the competition. And just uh, going back early in the day, David, uh, sure? Fenich uh, Gjokovic of uh, Hungary, the best from the B division, actually snatched 187 and a half kilos, clean and jerk 217.5 for a total of 405. So that's the leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. And here's Robert Dalejo. Still his brother Martin.
to begin. But here is the older of the two. Roberts, 25, Marcin's 21. World student champion, Robert, for the current season. Won that in Pavia in Italy earlier in the year. And really is uh, way ahead of that. I mean, he only he only snatched 172 and a half kilos in Italy. So that's uh, this is a hugely improved performance here from the older brother. Mind you, in the uh, student championships, not uh, pushed to the same degree. No, um, he's done more in the past. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So Sudas, uh, seventh at the last Olympic Games. Yeah, this is right on his personal best. He's Run been doing this weight for quite a while, 185, and always been, been struggling to, uh, to get past it. Well, when he finished second to Schmorzkoff uh, two seasons ago in the Worlds in Antalya on his own home Turkish stage, this is what he snatched, uh, 185. Well, that's good, because he normally fouls with it on his second and then sort of pulls it back on his third. He's achieved the 185 on his second, which means he's got a chance to uh, now move forward and go for at least go for a new personal best. And uh, for my money, that looked pretty good. Yeah, what do you reckon? Well, I think there's another two and a half kilos there, for sure. And again, this is another man whose uh, whose real strength is in the, is in the second phase of the competition. So, so if I, he can get a good snatch in, he's, he he can be dangerous. So I suggest you know maybe by playing conservative, get as many kilos, keep yourself as close as you can, might be the the prudent thing to do. For sure. Steiner, yeah. looking a, a little uh, well, a little concerned, shall we say, this Austrian, but you know. First lift was good. Now 185. Comes from uh, Bregenz in the Vorarlberg in the west of the country, pretty close to the Swiss and German borders. Oof. Now I'm wondering if that was a that was a near elbow dislocation. Yeah, he's he very, he's very well to actually get away with that. Yeah. And if we see it in slow motion, we'll we'll probably see just how close he came. Yeah, but he let go of it just in time. Yeah, just watch the left arm here. Oof. Yeah. Well, that could have been quite. Nasty. Still shows good flexibility to be able to uh, to go through that and come out the other end with a with an intact elbow. Talking of flexibility, he's talking to uh, Mark Huster, a colleague of the German commentators. He was uh, talking a little earlier on about how Elico uh, prepare and test and check these bars are up to world class by putting a thousand kilo weight. That's right. They fix each end of the bar and then they put a thousand kilos right in the middle and then they retest it and see if it's dead straight. And if it is, it, it passes the test. Now Chagayev on a already on a bit of a rescue mission here. No use uh, all that power in the clean and jerk if you don't stay in touch on the snatch. Oh, well, exactly the same problem as he did as, as the first time. Snatched it well and then lost it on standing up. That's pretty extraordinary for him. I mean, he can do 190, David, you know, without, you know, without any problem. Yes, I don't think it's, don't think it's strength to that. I think his technique is just, just slightly off. Yeah, that big, yeah, he's just, yeah, he's, he's, Maybe he should have just stayed in that bottom position and, 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 and just checked it before standing. Well, he's got to work himself out now because, you know, he's only got one more attempt to stay in the competition. Now, Steiner, well, he's in the competition because he's got the first lift away, but he needs to try and see whether he can... Well, it'll be interesting how he deals with this because the way that he fell that weight is was, was a big psychological knock. I mean, to, to lose that weight and almost 
take your elbow out. You, you know, you're really, it's really a psychological game now. He knows how heavy this is. And to give it 100% again, like he did on the first one, um, is tough. Oof. What I find interesting, David, is that, you know, obviously he's prepared for it. He knows what he's capable of doing, but he hasn't actually lifted any more than 180 all season. So, so he's uh, going for it. So he got 182 and a half. You know, he, you know, he, he went very well in the first lift. It says something about his his attitude, though, to be able to miss a lift and almost take your elbow out and then still come on on the third attempt and, uh, you know, go for it, obviously, 100% again. Uh, it takes some doing. So this man needs this lift to stay in the competition. And I didn't think, particularly as early as this, I'd be looking at someone who's a real contender, David. I mean, we're, we're talking, as I said, we're talking about the world silver medalist um, of last year in Warsaw behind Dennis Gottfried and the European uh, silver medalist behind Razoryanov, the other Ukrainian, in Lutraki last April. Now, 185. That, I mean, that's what he snatched on both those occasions on his way to collecting those championship medals. He just needs to stay in that bottom position, just check himself before he stands this time. Oof, well... Well, there's a, a, you know, I mean, a huge, huge disappointment and a huge, huge piece of frustration there for Chagayev because, again, David, as we've said all week here, uh, only totals earn you Olympic qualifying points and Chagayev would, would, you know, with all the problems that Bulgarians have of uh, you know experienced in this past week you know okay they had a little bit of sunshine with milan dobrev 24 hours ago in the 94 kilo class i think they were looking forward to chagev you know keeping a bright sky for another day but not to be so here comes the world champion dennis Gottfried, olympic champion in atlanta but no total in sydney and it's interesting that ukraine hold the world and the european champion Championships, but with two different men. One eighty seven and a half opener, good enough. And Dennis Gottfried on his way. And Gottfried, who weighed in at 104.32 kilos, now takes the lead in the snatch away from the man in the B group. That's Ferenc uh, Rukovic, who's got the same weight, David, but weighed 104.36. So Gottfried, a few grams lighter, leads the snatch competition. Hundred and ninety eight and a half. Marcin Dolesia holds both that record at senior and junior level. Here he is on stage. Now, can he get there or is there anyone else who you think might get there? Shmorchkov. Possibly. What about our man from Qatar? Well, it's interesting because he's posted at one eight five. He's obviously not starting on one eighty five. His warm up must have gone well. So he's coming in at, at least one ninety. So I guess with your normal jumps of five and two and a half, you must be looking for something like 197.5. So Marcin, just 21 years of age. Yeah, my. Take, always takes it almost down to the line. Good start. He was in the heavier category in the World Student Championships this year, finished runner-up. 190 look good. Yeah, Schmolchkov, well, you can never quite tell what he's going to be up to. Remember two years ago, David, when he emerged from the B group to win the world title? Yes, well, known, known for his uh, great snatching ability. He has, he has, of course, snatched 100. 
197.5. will put him right on the threshold of the world record. But here is the uh, Qatar representative, Assad Saif Assad. And as I just said, uh, if you were with us right at the beginning, originally known as Angel Popov, represented uh, Bulgaria. So I guess with uh, Chagayev's uh, demise, Bulgarian fans uh, better pin their support on this man. Well, as you said, was 185 entered, moved up to 190. Can't quite remember, was it 11 athletes or something like that? And, uh, of course, Abajiev going to Qatar uh, to coach the men. And it was uh, in Sydney, Tavakoli of Iran, who beat Chagayev, who's gone out of today's competition with Asad, Asad uh, or Popov, in third place. So, Shmorchkov. Awful lot of walking about going on, David. Yes, I'm not quite sure what the reason for that is. Ranked third in the world. Looking for 420 today in taking the bronze medal in Lutraki and the Europeans this season. Notched up uh, 415. Might need a bit more than 415 to win this title or regain the world championship. Yes, so again, this is a man whose strength lies in this phase. Not so strong on the clean and jerk. Right, he's going to stay at 190. Now, Pizarevsky trying to repair the damage, David. Look at this, seven and a half kilos increase. So he's, he's trying to, you know, wash out that timed-out failure, the first lift. In a way, you know, I do hope he gets this, because... Well, that was pretty close. Just shows you, though, if, you, if you're not on the ball and... Uh... You get timed out, you miss a lift, you then you then are put into a situation where you have to take chances, and that seven and a half kilo jump was certainly a chance, and uh, a failure of that means that it's really left him, well, out of it yeah, you see, at the probably, moment. He probably would have taken um, one out of, if he'd got the one eight two and a half, he'd have probably taken one eight seven and a half, and then left himself the third lift. Well, that's a good amount of noise from the Turkish fans. Well, that's because this is an attempt at a new personal best. Well, you thought two and a half kilos, David, but he's gone five. We're just about to find out whether that's a little over ambitious or not. I don't know. I think he's. I think he's capable. It's just. Uh... It's just getting everything right the first time. Well, two and a half would have been a better choice. So he remains on 185, which is a concern. I suppose with Chagayev uh, failing all three and not being able to get a total, that's one of his opponents that he can not worry about it anymore. Dennis Gottfried now world champion. We see him spasmodically, David, don't we? I mean, he goes in and out of uh, competitions. I mean, he's been around for a fair while. He was winning, you know, world titles in 1999 on the eve of the Sydney Games. And then we didn't see very much of him till last year when he won the 2002 Worlds. Two out of two. Not textbook. No, he's having to, he's having to uh, correct, but uh, he's doing it to hang on to his lifts. 
And, uh, you know, with the body weight, 104.32 kilos, he's considerably lighter than Assad of Qatar. Uh, he's not lighter than Schmorzkoff. And he's not lighter than uh, Bunyami Sudas. Bunyami Sudas, 102.96 kilos. I mean, that could be significant. Yes, well, uh, Sudas still trying to increase his body weight. Really needs to be training at about 108. So he's got some weight to gain. What weight was Razo Rionov um, due to come in on, David? Because 187.5. Yeah, I'm just a bit concerned, actually. I would have thought that we would have seen him by now, and uh, maybe something's gone wrong. Maybe he's injured himself in the yeah. warm-up, or... So, 195 for the younger brother. Try and find out about Razo Rionov, because I would have expected him to have been out, David, by now. Unfortunately, we can't see the board in the back room, so... <laughs> Do you want me to go and check? I'll just nip off and see if I can... Uh, if I can find anything out about uh, Razareo. Uh, we've got other means. But that... Uh, Absence means the Ukrainians, if he is injured, um, then everything's on Godfrey's shoulders. So it's going to be the man from Qatar who comes out. He's got a PB of 192 and a half kilos. So this will be a new personal best. Yes, I can confirm now, David, that Razarainov actually is out of the competition. He's obviously injured himself in the uh, in the warm-up, so we won't be seeing him. So that's a, a blow to the Ukrainians now, because as I said, it now leaves a lot of responsibility on Godfrey's shoulders. Well, that was great lifting from the man from Qatar. Yeah, 195, and uh, with 104.92 body weight, you know, pretty heavy, right close to the limit. He's got to get these lifts in, but, uh, you know, he can have the heavy body weight. As long as he lifts, then he puts the pressure on the rest, and that's exactly what he's done now. Schmorchkov has got to come and respond to this. Sudas, well, his chance has gone. But, of course, Gottfried has still got one more go. Ah. And I just thought he was going to steady it enough there in that bottom position to be able to drive up and get the lift. What a pity. So, again, Assad now in a stronger position because Schmorchkov is under pressure and Assad can now more comfortably wait, David, and see Schmorchkov try this again before he has to make a decision whether he goes up two and a half or more kilos. Well, that's right, there's several men on this weight now. We've got Godfried, we've got uh, Dalasia, and of course, the man who just failed it, Schmorchkov. So now, uh, Godfried, third and final attempt, 195. This is new territory for him as well. This will be a new PB. Yes, hasn't been technically as proficient as I've seen him in the past. But he's been hanging on to these weights. He's been doing whatever's necessary, taking a few steps forward if need be. Oh, 20 years' experience in the sport. <laughs> oof! Oof! Oh dear! Oh, that was horrible. That well, that's was... the that's the third time we've seen that happen in this championship, and uh, I can tell you, he won't be doing the clean and jerk. Well, the Ukraine losing both of their men within, what, minutes, David? But I, I, I'm really don't... not sure what the reason for the uh, the elbow dislocation... I mean, there, there, there are championships where we see lots and lots of elbow dislocations, and this is, this is one of them. I mean, we've seen three elbow dislocations in this championship, and I don't know what the, uh, what the reason is, and there'll be other championships where we, where we won't see any at all. Well, they're taking their time now, and 
slightly happier to see that. I, I think when you've got an elbow dislocation, actually, it's probably better to let him walk off. Yeah, that's rather than manhandling off. So Dolasia now, 195. And you've got to say, David, the opposition is falling like flies. Chagayev out, Razorenov not uh, making the stage even, Gottfried injured. So the door is really open for the likes of Marcin Dolasia. Needs this, though. Yeah, he needs to get this in because he's not, he's not known for his strength in the clean and jerk. Always relies on getting a big snatch lift in. So this is last chance to move forward from that 190 that he started with. And he doesn't do it. So we, Assad, absolutely in control of this, David. Just a reminder of our uh, website, www.weightlifting.de. And if you'd like to send us an email, we've got one or two that uh, came in overnight, so we will try to get to those. Uh, question at weightlifting.de to either David Morgan or myself, David Goldstrom. Well, so it's, been a, it's been a fairly, fairly incident-packed snatch phase here, David. Schmortzkoff, well, we really need him to do this to uh, well, you know, put, put some pressure on Assad. That's right, Schmortzkoff's weighed in at 104.04 and Assad has weighed in at 104.92, so this would put Smorchkov into the lead by virtue of his lighter body weight and then leave uh, Assad the task of doing 197.5 and he's done exactly what you were hoping he would do David and uh, for me that was the best of the three snatches that he's done first one looks a bit strained a bit nervous understandable second one uh, technically faulty but this one here Good power, good fluency, and then steadies and drives up really well. And the positioning is very good. You can see there, just hardly half a step forward, and that's the way you're supposed to do it. And of course, more importantly, it now means that uh, the man from Qatar has to do 197.5 on the last snatch lift of this men's 105 kilogram competition. Yeah, it's quite interesting, actually, David, because Dennis Godfrey, just dis despite that uh, awful elbow problem, is actually in the bronze medal position, something we didn't actually highlight at the moment of the injury, but he's got the bronze medal. Not that that will be much consolation for him. Well, oh, this, uh, this again underlines the, the, the psychology behind weightlifting. You know, he was...